Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own fun sometime, but today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Uh, start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement part? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want a rental. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Uh, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each Council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Hmm. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you... valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Katie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? <sighs> Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Hey, Shepard. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. <whistles> nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. So, what's her name? <laughs> no. No. I stopped fraternizing when I joined the military. The two don't seem to go well together. How do you make it work? You just do. It's like war. You make it work or die trying. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? Looks good. And you've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, 
That's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Catch you later, Shepard. What the hell? No way. You've been holding out on me. Oh, man. <clears throat> this is sweet. What have we here? You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Oh, this should be good. So close, just ten more. Holy hell, you did it. I, I don't know what to say. How you feeling? Might need help pulling my armor on next time. No doubt, Shepard. That was loco. Damn, you still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't worry, I won't.
Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Oh, fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure, I'll get just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? You're enjoying this, aren't you? They shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although, executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire... It's crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> Trust me, I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know, you just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on, you rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only Shepard left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do.